Okay, so right away I know that this does not have totals. So I'm going to add the totals on here before I even start playing around with any of this stuff. So 165 plus 191 plus 203 plus 101. So that total is 660. And then 133 plus 145 plus 155 plus 78. 555, wait, 511. I'm going to add those two together. So plus 660, 1171 is the grand total. Then I'm going to add those uh, accounts together. I'll use a calculator. I think I can do those in my head, but I'll use a calculator to be safe. 165 plus 133, 298. Whoops. 298. 191 plus 145, whoops, 191 plus 145, 336, uh, 203 plus 155 is 358, and then that's 179. Now let's add them and make sure it gives me 1171. If not, I'm going to figure out where I went wrong. 298 plus 336 plus 3. 58 plus 179, 1171. Okay, so it's unlikely that I made mistakes and I got the same wrong answer twice. All right, so I found those. So it says state the null hypothesis for this test. The null hypothesis is preferred sport and gender are independent. Okay, so there's my null hypothesis. Expected number of boys who preferred basketball. So letter B, remember, a row total times column total divided by grand total. So boys and basketball is in that box right there. So it would be 660 times 336 divided by 1171. All right, so let's do that. So 660 times 336 divided by 1171 is 189. So we're going to do three significant figures. So it's 189. All right. So again, that's just making, that's just me showing that I know how to find an, find an expected frequency. So now it says, um, find the p-value and then give my conclusion. So my move my table up here in the corner. All right. Calculator. Matrix A is uh, 2 by 4. Four this time. Let's put these numbers in there. So 165, 191, 203, 101, 133, 145, 155, 780. So there's my matrix A. All right, then I got matrix B. Uh, four by, oops, sorry. Two by four. Okay, so now this has got some bigger numbers in it, so I better be careful. So 660 times 298 divided by 1171. Is that right? 1171? Yeah, 1171. All right, so then 660 times 336 divided by 1171. 660 times 358 divided by 1171. 660 times 179 divided by 1171. 511 times 298 divided by 1171. 511 times uh, 336 divided by 1171. 511 times 358 divided by 1171. 511. I'm putting these in the line matrix. Of course I am, because why wouldn't I, right? All right, so let's start over again. So 165, 191, 203, 101, uh, 133, 145, 155, 78. All right, so thankfully I noticed that before I did the whole thing. I mean, before I tried to do the test. So edit matrix B, 
All right, two by four. So let's do this for a second time because it's always fun to do things twice. So 660 times 298 divided by 1171. 660 times 336 divided by 1171. 660 times 358 divided by 1171. 660 times 179 divided by 1171. Uh, six, nope, not 660. 511 times 298 divided by 1171. 511 times 145. Not 145. Done too many problems today. 336 divided by 1171. 511 times 358 divided by 1171. 511 times 179 divided by 1171. Okay, got them this time. So I'm going to drag and drop that. Stat tests up to C. Hit enter. Drag and drop that. All right, so there's what I've got. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's put the expected frequency matrix over there. Let's put this over here. Now, if you look at this, that is a tiny chi-squared value and a huge p-value, which means that these are absolutely independent. Um, these are absolutely dependent. Um, so it says uh, use a p-value test. So um, do this again here. Sorry. Uh, so zero point nine eight two is greater than. Oh, I wrote over time the significance. It's 5% significance. That's why I could, I'm looking for it. 0 0.05. So accept the null hypothesis, which means the preferred sport and uh, preferred sport and gender are independent. Uh, yeah, those are all. I mean, those are completely independent. They, there's barely any um, significance with this. Uh, I'm guessing if I put actually, I have them side by side. If you look at the expected frequencies and the observed frequencies, they're almost identical. Some of them are exactly the same. Um, looking at matrix B and matrix A, uh, when they're that much the same, you're going to almost get an insignificant uh, chi squared value of almost zero, which is what we got, and a p value of almost one, which again is what we got. So those are very, very independent.